Joining us now in Studio B is a man who I think doesn't have a bar fire tattoo. He, he might. I don't know. I, you don't have to answer it if you do. Ed Ice on the coach of two top ten teams. Welcome, coach. Thank you. Good to be here. Some people have said that I have a barbed wire mustache, but uh, oh, I'm not going to oh. touch that. But uh, <laughs> Actually, this is uh, represents two weeks of growth. The team decided we were all in. We were going to grow mustaches for the national meet. So, um this is my effort, and it's a lot more gray than it was last time I grew it out. So who knew? No, it's You're just letting it flow yeah, naturally. Yeah. Like, <laughs> the silver fox. Well, man. there is, uh, you know, just for men that may come up here in a, in a couple of weeks, but we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Ed Highstone in Studio B. As I mentioned, both teams in the top ten, the men number two, the women number nine coach. Uh, what has allowed for this program development, especially on the women's side, to get into the top ten now? Well, obviously, Coach Taylor has come on uh, board just a few years ago. This is her third season here, and, and we've seen uh, improvement each year. And we expect, uh, you know, she's just so in, in enthusiastic. You've, you've had her on their show before. And uh, we continue to believe that the women's program is going to get back into those, uh, you know, high water marks back in, that we had in the late 90s, early 2000s, where they can be uh, battling for a national championship. And even though they're ranked right now, nine number number nine right now i would expect to see them move up how do you harness and bottle that energy because honestly yeah yeah i just let her do her own thing <laughs> and uh, i do my own thing and then it, it's very fun when we're on the road uh and i think the men uh have gained energy from the fact that the women's uh program is on the rise and it's it's helped us kind of continue the the high water mark that we're at the men's team's ranked second, so you're competing for the national title, as are the women. Yeah. Is this team uh, more equipped or equally equipped, I guess, uh, to win the national title? Well, we're strong. Uh, certainly, NAU is the number one team in the country right now. We're a strong number two. Uh, things are going to have to break the right way uh, at the national championship, but uh, I think we have the horses uh, and capability. If we run our perfect day and they're a little bit off, I think we, we have a chance to, to get them. We're not really so as focused on that so much as we were last year. I think last year we got a little too focused, started re, uh, believing some of the pre press clippings and whatnot. And I think we believe now that we just need to, to focus on ourselves, not really worry about the other teams, run the best race that we're capable of. And at the end of the day, if we do that, I think we're going to have a great result, whether it's first, second, third. Uh, if, if at the end of the day, you know you've run up to your potential, then you're going to be pretty happy. You host the West Coast Conference Championships tomorrow at uh, nearby East Bay. How much of a home course advantage does that present to BYU? Well, it's nice. Uh, we're the only West Coast Conference team that is at altitude. And so they're coming up from sea level, most of them. Gonzaga has got a little bit of altitude. Uh, so uh, us training and adapting to the altitude certainly is a positive factor. But the fact of the matter is we're ranked number two nationally on the men's side. Portland is ranked number three nationally on the men's side. Uh, and so they're a very, very strong team as well. It'll be I, – I, I would just invite everybody to come out because they're going to see two very good teams – uh, the the women's team and the men's team out and out working very hard and in terms of um, you know, the battles that we'll have up front with the men going against number three ranked Portland it was, should it could come down to just a matter of one or two points. How does a rivalry like that manifest itself in cross country? Um, well, you just uh, you have some. When we came into the conference, I think Portland had won 37 conference titles in a row. Um, and so we knew we had our work cut out, but first year in, we were able to, to come away with the conference championship. And I think we've, uh, won the last, uh, two in a row, maybe three in, was it three in a row? Anyway, uh, so, um, I know that they uh, would, would love nothing more than to start their streak of 37, uh, wins again. Uh, but we're on our home course. We're going to do the very best that we can. I have ultimate respect for the Portland program because year in, year out, they have very, very good teams. Uh, we'll, we'll go against them here at the conference meet. And then at the national meet, they take a lot of pride in doing well at the national meet as well. And so it's going to be a, a great battle. We're really looking forward to it. And we're excited that we're going to be at home because we'll, we get, you know, thousands of fans, hopefully out. The women's race is at 10 o'clock. Yes. The men's race is at 11 o'clock. We realize there's a little football game going on a little bit later, but that yeah, was... at one thirty. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That, yeah, that time will allow... To support the cross-country no, no, time. We'll be done by 11.30, should be. You still have plenty of time to get some good parking and make your way up to the game, so just make a whole morning out of it. I'm straining yeah, to remember idea. if this is true or not, but was this the meet last year where BYU's men's team at one, two, three, four, five? 
It the is. Perfect score yes, of yes. Yeah, we had a sweep last year. And uh, and we're not necessarily trying to duplicate that. We just want to run a nice, uh, strong performance. We want to leave a little something in the tank uh, for the national meet. Um, but uh, I know that buoyed by our support, uh, then we're going to have a, a good day out there. Well, we uh, let's give you the BYU Sports Nation karma. So good that. luck for tomorrow. Good, good and then we have a new flag. Do you mind signing it? I would love to sign your flag. You'll be the first Olympian yes, on, really. the, okay. on the flag. <laughs> <Very> <laughs> do I do that right now? Go ahead. If yeah. I do that, they'll see kind of the spot on oh, the back of no, my If you want to wait, you can. Blue. Okay. If you're scared, <laughs> go ahead. Ed Eyestone, awesome. Oh, absolutely. Come